The two minute update looks at a study asking if pulmonary rehabilitation decreases mortality after an admission for COPD. This is a retrospective cohort study evaluating 197,000 Medicare patients admitted with COPD, comparing patients who initiated pulmonary rehab within three months of discharge with those that did not. The cohort included patients with COPD admitted during one year for either a COPD exacerbation or acute respiratory failure. Patients were excluded if they had recently been in pulmonary rehab. For patients who initiated pulmonary rehab within three months of discharge, the 12-month mortality rate was 7.3%. For patients who did not start pulmonary rehab shortly after discharge, the mortality rate was dramatically higher, 19.6%. Interestingly, very, very few patients entered pulmonary rehab following their admission. Selection bias is probably inevitable, since the sickest COPD patients are clearly less likely to be able to participate in pulmonary rehab. We also don't know if pulmonary rehab decreases hospitalizations. The up-to-date section on that topic has three references. One is a book from 2009, and the other two are studies from 1969 and 1976, before most hospitalists were even born. Pulmonary rehab is clearly underutilized. Maybe we can make great strides in decreasing mortality following COPD admissions. Do hospitalists set this up? If so, how long will we be getting in-basket notes that drive us crazy? Perhaps we can steer PCPs to referring for pulmonary rehab by including recommendations in our discharge summaries. Mm -hmm.